Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about corn root systems. You know, the most unusual thing for a lot of people when they start looking at these roots on the corn plant is that actually the vast majority began above where the seeds planted. We have a lot of debate about that as corn is going in the ground. Guys will say, well, why is it so important that my planting depth is at a certain spot? And, and we talk about the root system development and how many of the roots are going to be above the seed. Well, even today, in this particular field where corn was planted uh, over 12 months ago, we can still dig up corn stalks and tell you exactly where that planting depth was at. So there's no bluffing. Once you decide where you're going to plant, grass seed stays where it's put, and then the roots are going to develop around it. Now, when corn begins to develop, the first root that you're going to see is called the radical root. Okay, so the radical root and then the seminal roots also will come right out of the seed. But after that, we've got the main root systems of the plant. They're called the nodal roots. There are five rings of nodal roots, and they're going to start above where that corn is planted, typically about three quarters of an inch to an inch above where the seed was planted. So this planting depth is really critical because the nodal roots, you want them to be below the soil surface. The nodal roots are the key point in our corn plant for bringing in water and bringing in nutrients, and they're going to have lots of root hairs that are going to develop. Now, if you keep those roots below the soil surface, you're gonna do a great job finding nutrients in those top few inches of soil, and then, of course, the nodal roots will go much deeper in the soil as well, looking for water and for nutrients. However, if you have some of those nodal roots that are above ground, uh, they're very good at taking things in. Now, they could take in a herbicide application, for example, and you're more likely to see crop injury if you have roots out above ground. The other thing that happens when you've got roots above ground is your anchor of that plant is not as good. So if we have a heavy rain, for example, maybe a three or four inch rain, followed by some real heavy winds, all of a sudden you could see some lodging in that cornfield that you may otherwise not have if that root system was deeper in the soil. All a farmer is looking for is planting depth more than an inch and a half deep. If it's more shallow than an inch and a half, that's where some of these nodal roots will come out above ground. Now you might say, hey, wait a second, there are always some corn roots above ground. Yes, those are the brace roots. They're supposed to be above ground and they only come as the re result of stress. In other words, to help that plant support a big ear and big stalk and everything else, the brace roots do come out, especially when there's even a little bit of wind out there. Basically, that triggers the plant to say, ooh, I can't stand very well. I better put out some brace roots. Corn has this huge root system. And when you think about the ability to get out there and explore more volume of soil to find nutrients, corn can do a great job at that. The other thing that I really like about that big extensive root system of a corn plant is if we can leave that in place, if we can avoid doing tillage, especially where that root mass is for the corn plant, you can grow your organic matter levels in your soil faster. These corn roots will start to decay in the soil and where they do, they'll leave channels for water to move down and for, for earthworms and so forth to move around in the soil. It's great for your soil if you can leave that root mass intact. And when you think about that, well, man, how can I do it? I've got this cornfield with all this residue. Uh, we utilize strip tillage. So we still do a little bit of tillage, but we do it halfway in between last year's corn rows. So we try to leave those root balls intact. The important thing here to understand is just that as farmers, we're trying to raise as many roots as possible, which ultimately leads us to as much overall crop as possible. Well, you want all those roots in place because they're gonna have to compete against our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? <music> 